In this video, we talk about how to install packages in RStudio, and we also talk about how to troubleshoot installation errors. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you don't know, a package is simply a collection of functions, data, code, you know, package up in a nice, neat package that you could go ahead and install, and then you can take advantage of those functions and that data and the, that code and use it on your machine. So there's, you know, packages for plotting and graphs, uh, for advanced mathematics and, and so on. There's hundreds, if not thousands of packages that you could go ahead and take advantage of. And so that's what we're gonna do in this video is install a package and go through that process together. So you'll notice down here in RStudio, we have a packages tab. So if we click that option, we see all the packages that came with RStudio. And so if there's a package here that you wanna go ahead and use, you could come in here and you could go ahead and activate it and you know take advantage of it. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and install one. So we'll click install here. Uh, for install from, we'll go with the regular repository, the CRAN repository, which is where you know all the standard R Studio or R packages are stored. And then if you have one that you downloaded and you want to go ahead and use, you could go ahead and you know pick your own file if you want to do that. So we'll go with the repository. Then we tell what package name. So if we start typing, you see that it starts popping up packages and you see I typed in GG and there's, I don't know, 20 packages that start with GG. You start with G, you know, there's more and so on. So there's, like I said, there's hundreds if not thousands of packages. Some are good, some are not very good. Some are maintained well, some are not well maintained and so on. So anyway, we're going with ggplot2, which is for graph. So I'm gonna do ggplot2 and then we go ahead and select our install to library. And I'm gonna use the default option because that's all I got. I'll go ahead and install dependencies and we'll click install. And we'll see over here that it goes through the whole process of installing the package. And we'll go ahead and wait a minute. And just like that, my ggplot2 package has been installed. So if I come up here and I check on my ggplot function and I run it real quick, I get an error message. And that's because I have not actually activated the package yet. So let's go ahead and turn it on real quick. If I run this line again, we see that I get my help information and instructions on how to use this particular function. Now real quick before moving onward, I wanna point something out. If you come in here and you try and install a package and you receive an error message, like it won't install for some reason, it's probably because you're not running RStudio as an administrator. If you're not running it as an administrator, you're gonna to need to close it out like this. So I'll close it out real quick and I'll just go ahead and save real quick. And I come over to RStudio. We go ahead and right click on it, run as administrator. And we wanna go ahead and accept whatever it said there. I imagine it was asking for permission or something like that. And then you come back in here and I'll just do another GG one. We'll do GG ally. I don't know what that is. And you might have to select a different directory now. So this one right here and install and it goes through the whole installation process. So if you're running into issues with installing, close it down, run RStudio as an administrator, and then you might need to select a different directory and you'll be able to install your packages. So I've run into that issue before. For some reason, it's not doing it now, uh, of course, because I'm shooting a video. But anyway, just wanted to point that out to you because that was frustrating. It took me a good solid hour to figure out how to actually <laughs> install packages. So yeah, if you're having issues, run it as administrator, try it again, choose a different directory. All right, so that's how you go ahead and install and activate packages uh, using this interface here. I'm gonna go through how to code it so you can be super cool and all that stuff if you wanna learn that. Um, also, if you wanna remove a package, you just come over here and you press this uh, delete arrow. So I'll just delete ggplot real quick from my, my packages. And then to do it the, the cool coded way, we can do install packages and we'll throw in ggplot2. We'll run that real quick. And so just like that, it goes and it installs ggplot2 uh, using code. And then if we wanna go ahead and you know activate it without clicking on this checkbox, we can come over here and do library and ggplot2. Notice there's no, no quotes around this version here, but we'll run this line real quick. And we see that our ggplot2 package has a little check mark next to it now because it's it's running and we can go ahead and start using you know the ggplot functions that come with that particular package and the data that comes with it and 
all that type of stuff. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and install packages in our studio. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.